hello and welcome to this part of video where we will discuss about calculation of standard deviation now few days back i did a video in which i showed the understanding of standard deviation today we'll look at how do we calculate standard deviation but before that uh, let's have a look at given data here and uh, let's calculate compounded annual growth rate from the given data now this given data here is from year 2005 to 2011 about a stock A and these returns consider them in percentages uh, these returns uh, it says that in 2005 stock A's return was 32% 18% 27% minus 25 percent 9 15 and 21 percent so let's quickly get down to calculation of CAGR which we already know from the previous video uh, and after that we'll calculate standard deviation so to calculate CAGR let me convert these returns into return relatives which I'll do by typing is equal to 1 plus 32 divided by 100 so what I get is 1.32 now as I drag it I'll get values for each individual uh, numbers so here are my return relatives now I can use the geo mean function is equal to geo mean remember CAGR is basically geometric mean arithmetic mean doesn't give you the right CAGR so what we understand is in last uh, seven years every one rupee would have become 1.12 that means looking at this figure what we understand is that the money has been growing by 12.28 percent now to convert it back to a percent form what we are going to do is this number minus one and we will represent it in percentage format so that's 12.28 percentage so now what we know is that uh, CAGR of these stock A for last 7 years is 12.28 now earlier in our standard deviation session we have already known we already know that uh, CAGR by itself is not the complete end solution we need to know the standard deviation to know the reliability of CAGR if you haven't watched that earlier session please do watch it to understand more about standard deviation now coming to the point of calculating the standard deviation first let me show you an easy way uh, which you can employ in excel and after that i'll also take you to the step by step uh, procedure so the easy way out is quite simple okay all you have to do is type is equal to s t d e v and open the bracket and choose all these numbers so I want a standard deviation of all percentage returns of stock A since last seven years that's also STDEV bracket C10 colon C16 bracket close enter so then I get STDEV of standard deviation of 18.72 now if you've seen the last video you already know what it means uh, my most likely resultant uh, observation in years to come will vary from 12.28% plus and minus 18.72 so now uh, this was a simple way of calculating standard deviation if you would like to understand more about how do we calculate it mathematically uh, or rather statistically uh, hang on to watch the complete video further well first thing that we have to do to calculate standard deviation is to find out average not the CAGR or the geometric mean arithmetic average 
what we are trying to do is we are trying to understand how much is the each individual observation deviating from the average now let's continue our talk as we do so i am going to find average here is equal to i can do that by average this average function will give me the arithmetical average of these numbers so uh, the arithmetical average is 13.85 now next what i want to do is i want to find out how much does this average deviate from each individual observation by itself okay so let me call this column as d because i am looking at deviations over here what i'm going to do here is is equal to the average and i'm going to put it at a dollar sign over here so that when i drag it down my average does not drag and minus stock a now further i can drag it down like this so you will find that uh, while this cell c10 has dragged down to c13 c19 is not dragging down because of the presence of those dollar signs now after having found the deviation from the average what we will do next is find square these deviations this is squaring will do away with all negative numbers it will make all numbers positive and plus uh, magnify the level of deviation okay so i don't need so many decimals so what i'm going to do is just reduce the number of them two decimals are good enough for me okay so here is deviation squared so first the average then the deviation and then squaring of the deviation and after squaring the deviation what we are going to do is take summation of these numbers which comes to 2104 now uh, i'm going to tell you something important the next step is to divide it divided by what we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 observations here now uh there are two things important to remember with standard deviation if you have the data of complete population you divide it by the entire population for example let us say if this is the only data and that's all okay then i would divide it by 7 but then this stock has been in the market since a couple of decades i am just taking a sample data of last few years so this is not the entire population of data so whenever i am calculating with sample data what we need to do is we need to divide the summation of deviation by n minus 1 n minus 1 over here is going to be 6 7 is the number of observations and minus 1 so that's 6 So when we do that, we got this number called three fifty point eight one. Now there is a name for this number. This number is called as variance. And now, lastly and finally, coming to standard deviation. Standard deviation is basically square root of variance. Now, how do you find square root in Excel sheet? Is equal to this number raised to One by two in brackets. One by two. Remember, raised to two is a square, and raised to one by two is square root. Raised to three is cube, and raised to one by three is cube root, and so on. So that you will find here gives me exactly the same answer of eighteen point seven two nine nine, and this is how we calculate standard deviation. Thank you.